All right, people, welcome back. Yet another deck profile, but this is in deck profile. You're looking at it? Yes, you see it right. Deck profiles. I have two. So, uh, both just pure Zephyrus and Yang Zing Zephyrus. They both were really great decks. Uh, we did the first half with uh, Zephyrus Yang Zing, and then we switched over to just pure Zephyrus. But they were both signed decks. Now, uh, they almost got another month. I think it was like in third or fourth place. Um, but, you know, there, we can only pick two. And uh, Repe didn't get another month, which is fine, it's just fine, but it, I enjoyed it. You know, I never played with Zephyrus before. They had some pretty strong plays, some pretty interesting plays. I'm gonna give you both deck profiles here. So, this is the pure one. And I might, when I mean pure, I mean pure. I know some uh, Zephyr decks they run like the Denebs and they run like the, the Yang Zings. I was like, no, 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 I wanna keep it pure, you know? If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something right. I wanna keep it pure, and that's exactly what I did. So, uh, let's drop into it. We run three of the Zephyr. Franio, he's he's like one of the best monsters. You can do him summon him. He gets a search of a Zephyr card. You can search for Divine Strike. You can search for your Oracle. So good. And then also when he's destroyed battle by card effect, he get to get another search. So he pretty much just keep destroy. He gets destroyed. Pendulum summon. He keeps getting searches. He's just so good. And his twenty six booty. I mean that's nothing to scoff at. That's the way they tap Barry, you know. Uh, then we run triple of our Zephrax Cyton. So, he's pretty good, you know, these guys, they can be in your scales, but that comes with pretty good monsters. Those cards don't summon, but summon a pen or summon, you can target a Zephyr or Telonite monster, probably a Zephyr, because there's no Telonite monsters. Uh, and, and your monsters don't, or your pen don't, and once that card, pop it. So, you know, you can go ahead and, like, pen or summon, target another Zephyr monster, pop your, you know, opponent shit. Uh, I'd say the biggest problem is that the deck was kind of slow, you know. Uh, it said it's the biggest gripe. But there, I don't think there's ever a time when I played this deck where I would just open up, just bam, like a whole bunch of Zephyrus and Pendulum Summon a whole bunch. It would generally just be like scale, scale, Pendulum Summon like one, maybe two. You know, it'd never be like Pendulum Summon, Pendulum Summon, Pendulum Summon. It would never be like the big old shit on your, you know, day five. But, um, you know, that effect is pretty good too. And he's 1900 Peter and popping set cards and being a Pendulum Scale as well. Then we got the other part, the, the Zephra Tooth. I'm butchering his name, Thufban, I don't know. Uh, he pops face up cards, so he's, he's a little bit different. Pendulum Scale 1, Pendulum Scale 7. Like, oh, you can only summon Telonite monsters, or there's, there's no Telonites, or Zephyr monsters. Everybody's Zephyr, so, you know, there's going to be no locking myself out of Pendulum Summoning, uh, which can actually happen sometimes when you play Zephyrus because, you know, it's like, well, whatever I am, plus, you know, they are a Yang Zing Zephyr, I'm a Teller Zephyr, I'm a Ritual Beast Zephyr, so, you know, they got a little bit of everything, but, uh, you can pass some extra stuff out. Uh, then we run triple of our Zephra Wendy. This card's really good. When this card's normal, so my pen something, you can add one Zephra monster from your uh, extra deck to your hand. So uh, there will actually be times when uh, I don't have a place, so I can just go ahead and grab back and then summon. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, but I was mix mixing it up with uh, uh, Pella. Pilica. So this is the counterpart. Pilica is a really good one. This one passed from the back from the graveyard, especially from the graveyard. Uh, so that's really great as well. Actually, a time where I was like, you know, twin twister pitch and then summon it right back with uh, Pilica. Yeah. Uh, it's a short day on phase, but that's fine because my Zephyr monsters go to the extra deck and then bam, beat you with that strike. So that's pretty good, you know. Not something to scoff at there. Uh, so, uh, and then we have our one of our best monsters, definitely one of our go to monsters, uh, the Zephraxi, the one that turns your monsters into the monsters so you can go into this beautiful monster, this, you know, game winning monster. Uh, so, uh, definitely triple of you as well, and then we run double Maxi. Uh, Maxi is just not the greatest of cards in freaking tag. Like, whether my, my, I'm always going second. You know, I always like a tag partner to go first. So, whether we go first or second, I don't get to see my, my deck until after my opponents have already gone, you know? So that's what really sucks about my Maxi, but, you know, it's really nice to just be able to just drop Maxi. If they're smart, they're stop. If they're not, then I'm going to go plus, and, you know, it's always nice to go plus, and it's filler shit. It really is, you know. This deck, I, I really, I was trying to get the things to, to put in, so I just put in some filler shit like Maxi and shit. Uh, triple Terraforming for our, our triple, uh, or Zephyr. It's really sucks that you can only activate once per turn because that'd be so great, but you get that search, you get additional bonus effects or whatever you do. Uh, generally, you're going to be doing Synchro Summoning C Summoning in here, but, uh, I mean, both of those effects are fairly good, so. Uh, Triple Tim Twister, Club that back row, go for your plays. The one Upstar Goblin, filler shit. Regeki and the Double Dark Hole, save my butt, save my butt. You know, this this is this is good, you know. Generally, when tag decks, I generally run the Regeki and the two Dark Holes, because, I mean, the threat of just facing two opponents, so I could just, you know, Regeki or Dark Hole, you blow out one of the, part, the opponents out, and then it's just us two tag partners versus one, we'd have a higher chance of winning, so. 
Uh, then our triple Divine Strike, because Divine Strike is just so good, you just banish. Uh, when Spell Trap or Monster Effect, I mean, it's literally like a fucking uh, Infernity Barrier. I can banish a face up that for Monster in my extra deck. Uh, sucks because it's gone, so I can't punch something, but I get to the game destroyed. It's, it's, I mean, it's a Contract. It's, it's Infernity Barrier. Let's go. And it's searchable. Searchable, too. Um, triple Psalm Strike in the morning. Psalm Brigade. I, know, I do that a lot, especially in slower decks. Um, let's go and look at the. Uh, extra deck, so we have Nirvana High Paladin. You can make him, I just never did, so I'd probably take him out. He's he's cute, but I don't think he's necessary, and you know, I feel like I'm missing a card, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out and replace him right now with Totem Bird, because I just noticed that we have some level 3 wins, so Totem Bird, let's go. Uh, we have Trish, uh, we can make it, and you hit someone, and wreck someone's day with Trish, I mean, let's go. Uh, we have our status Charge Warrior, because you can summon him and draw a card. Uh, so that's pretty nice, and you can tackle all sorts of monsters. You got uh, two Metal Fist Horus, God, he's so good. So you get both the effects. You get uh, the, you can target one other card, face up card on the field, and negate that uh, target effect, that card on the field. So you can negate field spells, and it's not until the end of the turn, it's permanent, it's just negated. And then if a bunch of monsters use a single summon, uh, you can pretty much make your opponent give you one of the monsters they control. Uh, can't attack the turn, but who cares? I can take your freaking monster. So that's definitely one of the major plays you're going to be doing. Uh, then we have some seven, so we got Yazi and a clear wing because you know you can do this to this and then do that play. That's why I have these two. There's actually one duel where I made Metal Fist Hor Horus, right? And he had Abyss and a tune in one of his tuner monsters because we were dueling against um Re Resonator. So he gave me the one tuner, and I was like, wow, shit, you know. At first, I thought I got the pick, but they get the pick, so they just give me the one tuner. I was like, okay, well, I'll just they're gonna summon my Metal Fist Horus with your level one tuner to Yazi, Yazi, pop. Itself pop your uh you know your abyss and then I got to special some my uh, Zephraxi so uh so uh my I mean my my Zephraxi my my Zephra Anui or whatever it is. this is a Fraxi yeah so that, the probably is pretty good pretty good and clearing because it's clearing all right so we have uh M seven like I said we have some sixes so we can recycle uh we have some sixes you know especially with you and you and stuff so you can go uh Utopia Beyond drop to zero go for game. Uh, we aren't, I mean, two M7s, because two M7s is just that important in the stack. Uh, Fletcher and Strike Bounds are probably one of my favorite ranked six plays, you know. When I'm running six, I, I always put in a Fletcher and Strike Bounds because he's just so good. Like, 2700 monster negates monster effects on the field, and then you take it down, your opponent takes it down, it's just so good. During the player's turn, or the one Totem Bird, just put him in there, because he has some level three lights. Break Sword, because he has some level three, so Break Sword's a good three. Castell and Utopia Utopia, the Lightning, so. Uh, there we go. That is the pure Zephyr build. So, uh, like I said, we're actually going to do a double deck profile here. So, let me go ahead and pull up the other deck. So, all right. And here is the other deck. Here is uh, Zephyr Yangzu. So, as soon as I saw the Zephyrs were put on Daily Duels, I was like, cool. I get to actually play Zephyr Yangzu. I've never played this deck before. I never have. So, with that, I was like, you know what? Let me try it. Let me try it. Uh, we got, I'm not sure if we got a little bit of flack, a little bit of hate, but you know what? In the end, it was still a very, very powerful. It was, it was a very powerful tactic. So, uh, I said, there's more Yangzu and Zephyr and there's only literally these two and just Oracle. And, you know, my, uh, I'm not even running, uh, what's it called? Uh, my Divine Stripe, because we have freaking Nine Branch. So, it's just so good. Like, like I, I could possibly see a, a revival of um, of uh, suffering things. You know, you have you can have nine branches. You can have you know divine strikes. You can. It's just so ridiculous that you have a little bit of both on both ends. So it's just so good. So you run three Gia, three Gio N, two Beyond, two Bixie, and two Sawani. I, I think that this is the right ratio for the Zephyr uh, lineup. Definitely. Uh, we run two Zephraxu, two Zephraxi, these two, uh, they can be your Tentum scale, because you can search them with Skyrus, but then also you want to actually use them for plays as well in Sinker Summon, so it's pretty good. Uh, then, if you're going to run the Zephyr build, I think you should run a little bit of the Odd Eyes build, because you can use this to uh, protect your Pendulum scales, if these are your Pendulum scales, pop and then get your search, and then, you know, these go off, you already know, it's, meta it's like Metaphos, it's so good. So, I uh, run two of the Persona and two of the Mirage because their scales are perfect. One and eight generic, so that's nice. Uh, triple Terraforming because we have six filled spells. So, we got three of these and three of these, and it's just so great that you get one, either one and you get to go off your place. Triple Twin Twister Club, that back row. One Sensing Path to put, you know, your Sensing's back and then draw into two cards. So, that's pretty nice as well. Run 
three nine branches of Yang Zing. I don't even know why the fuck they made this card it's so fucking good. It's literally it's gonna turn Yang Zings into freaking infernities. Like just just prepare your anus, you know, especially with metaphors. You just you know play this. This will pop this special summon. You know, I mean, pop one of your Yang Zing monsters. You will go into this to pitch to summon to the synchro summon into Deng Long. Deng Long will grab you the, the nine branch. It's just, it's just so good. It's just so good. And then the solemn grade like usual. Uh, we run one Herald because we can actually make him. He should probably be like closer down here. Like it's interesting. I usually go big to small, but here I went small to big. I don't know why I did that. Huh. So uh, you can make Heart of Arc Light. He's situational, but he's really good. You can you can know this and this, and you can make a Herald of Arc Light who can't be destroyed in battle. Uh, any monsters that I sent from the hand or the main deck is banished, so it's kind of like a. Uh, so kind of like a pseudo macro, and then I can just you know when a spell trap or monster fact activate, I can tribute him and negate. So it's pretty good. Uh, we run three Deng Long. Deng Long is the best. I mean, this card is fucking ridiculous. Like, if ever, if Yang Zings ever need to get hit, obviously it's this to one and this to one. Like these two should be at one. You know, like it's just easy. You hit the searcher, you hit the fucking searchable counter trap because it's fucking the eternity barrier, and it's just so cancer, so cancerous. But hey, that's you go. What are you gonna do? We have the Metaphys Horus. He's in here too. We can make him. Then he's pretty good. We got the you know the uh, Yazi who has a little bit stronger place in this deck over the other one then we run the one ancient favorite so we can take a fill spell and replace another fill spell if need be so that's pretty good uh the Ignister because we can make him in I mean it's freaking Ignister come on you know if you're running um you know Pendulum Monsters and Tuners you probably should you know throw in Ignister if you can actually go into that kind of sink and we can go into sink, some sink gates in here we run Triple Rabaxia he's probably the go-to one be able to spin shit back pop and summon back and It'd be enabling plays, just you, you've seen it, you've seen uh, Ying Zings go off plenty of times. Uh, run Trish because we can make it, you run the Xiao Feng because he can lock out your opponent of uh, particular attribute effects, that's pretty good. And then we run the Hope and the Felgrand because we have some eights, and I don't I don't mind you know using two backs to go into one of these if it's to lock that one opponent. So there you go, you got your two uh, Zephyr decks, you got Zephyr Zing Yings, and you also got pure Zephyr. So uh, like I said, sometimes I restrict myself. Uh, for the fun and entertainment of things, you know, uh, especially uh, I saw you a couple of your guys' comments on the Magician Girls on Monday. You guys were like, hey, are you running Dark Magician? No, I'm running just Magician Girls. Yes, you're not even going to run Demok? No, I want to just hey, just the ladies, you know? So it's where I restrict myself. So if I'm going to run a Zephyr deck and I want to do pure Zephyrs, we're not going to run the Yings and we're not going to run the Dinesh. When I say pure, we're running Zephyrs as they are, you know? And while they're supposed to have synergy with, you know, the other archetypes that they're with, I want to see if I can just do pure Zephyrs. And you know what? With Metaphysaurus, I mean, just that in itself is just so good, you know? The so Divine Strike and all that. There you go, both deck profiles. So we're not done. We got one more, one more deck profile. Uh, so if you haven't seen it already, the deck that will be uh, replacing this tag deck, which I like said it's changed. It's actually Gaia. Gaia was supposed to be single on, on Friday, and Chimes was supposed to be tagged on Thursday. I switched those two. So Gaia is tagged on Thursday, Chimes are single on Friday. If you have not seen the tag duels with with Gaia, then be sure to check that out. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. And I said another deck profile, deck profile for our ancient years. And I will be playing with trends and singles because I changed it around. All right, people. Thanks for watching.